Hey everybody, my name is Phil Budd. I'm working with Nick Steele, and I'm working to build a snowboy, as the channel probably told you. Um, a snowboy is a Japanese flute, and it's made out of bamboo. And at the moment, I don't really know much more about that, besides the fact that it sounds cool. So, the reason why we're doing this is because we have a World Music Cultures Class Center music program at the university, and we're both taking it, obviously. And we were both thinking about what we wanted to do, and we've done Irish music, and we've done Canadian folk music, and we've done Creole and Cajun. Really cool stuff. But we weren't going to actually have enough time to actually get to the, you know, to Japan, China, and all that stuff. So we decided, why not do Japan? Or something, anyway. And we wanted to build something, because we were both, you know, woodworkers. We liked working with our hands. Magnificent man hands. And um, we decided to build a flute. It seemed like it was feasible with the amount of time that we could actually, you know, build it, be proud of it, learn how to play it, and um, hopefully learn something about it and the music that it comes from and how it works with. Um, as far as Japanese music goes, I don't really know much. Uh, it seems to be a theme of a lot of stuff from Japan. It seems to be fairly secluded. It seems to be very separate from everything here, so as far as I know it's very, uh, I would have to guess it's codified, basing it off of uh, cultural assumptions from the samurai and the shogun, and how all that worked out, much like medieval honor codes or something like that, but they took it probably a lot more seriously being a collectivist society, so as a result I would uh, I, I bet that their music is something similar. It's probably also close to Chinese music because of their proximity. Uh, and stereotypically probably uses a pentatonic scale. But I can't say I know very much right now, which is a problem. Hopefully I'll know a lot more very shortly. Um, which is funny, because the first time I started listening to it, when we started, you know, looking for a pro something to study for this project, I was listening to the music. And, um, that changed how I thought about things a little bit. Although it does seem I was right about the pentatonic scale, or about, you know, how it just has a different tonality than Western music. I don't know exactly how, is a, is a small caveat. I have absolutely no idea how it's, how it's different quite yet. Um, I'm a particularly bad theory student, so as far as technical lingo goes, I'm a little bit lacking. But at the moment, it seems to lack us, it lacks the same sense of harmony and diatonicism. Um, and, uh, like Chinese music, like we learned, you know, we learned about from another group that went before us, seems to lack uh, harsh tones, stuff like sevenths or seconds that try to tonicize something else. It tends to avoid those because you know, it's peacefulness seems to be something that they go for. But I don't know for sure. Uh, for all I know, it could be highly religious. It could be folk music. Although I don't see how that sounds very folky, considering the rest of the planet. But we'll see. Um, things that I'm not entirely sure about how we'll do. The actual building of the instrument is going to be interesting. Uh, neither of us really knows what we're doing, as far as working with bamboo goes. Neither of us have really worked with bamboo. Uh, it's a new material for us. In addition, trying to make a flute that actually makes sense, that has proper tuning and everything, you know, not a tourist instrument, that's going to be a challenge. Uh, to try to get something that I'll actually be proud of and be able to play and learn how to play and have fun playing it is is going to be interesting. So I look forward to seeing how we do on that front. I bet it'll do. Uh, I bet it'll go well. It's always gone well, usually for me. I've made wheelbarrows, but it's not the same thing. It's a lot more finesse. It's a flute. It's supposed to sound like spring, I guess. I need to do some more information about that. Uh, more research about that kind of information, anyway. I am, however, really looking forward to all of this, though. Like, maybe not the, the... The cultural research and everything, I'm kind of... You know, it, it's interesting, but it's not my primary concern. Like, my primary concern is how to build this thing. Like, I really want to be able to build it and then start playing it, you know? Like, like the idea of being able to make something of my own and then go, this is my Shinobu way. I have named it... 
something fancy, and it plays magnificently. I made it with my bare hands. It is personalized by moi, and it is fantastic. I have no idea why I went into a French accent there. That actually made no sense. But that's what I'm looking forward to most, is actually building the thing, and actually, you know, painting it, and hauling it out, and sty actually stylizing and customizing the thing is my big thing, and then seeing whether or not I can make it as traditional a Japanese instrument within those guidelines as possible. In addition, I also, you know, really look forward to working with Nick, because well, Nick's a pretty cool guy. I played, you know, next to him in one ensemble and stuff like that. Seems like an awesome guy, seems like he's really excited about the project, and you know what, I'm betting working with him is going to actually be a lot of fun. Although he's going to be in charge of most of the cinematography, so I better uh, pull my pull my weight when it comes to the research, because he's going to be doing a lot of work with that, with the filming and the cinematography, and I don't want him to have to do everything. But, um, yeah, I, I guess that's, uh, that's about it for my introduction video. Uh, I'll get back to you with my first impressions after starting to make the freaking flute.